Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Lead 2 Predictions. I've got to start this video off with an apology. Completely mistake on my behalf. Um, I don't know how many of you saw the FA Cup predictions um, from the previous round. Um, but I did make a big mistake by putting Port Fail... I thought they were lower than what they actually are. They are actually not doing too badly. Um, so that is my apology. Um, I do apologise. That will not never happen again. Um, a few results going against the odds. Um, a few results, you know, maybe going like, like according not to plan. Um, but a very interesting week ahead, a very interesting Christmas busy period coming up starting this weekend. But anyway guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Bradford versus Newport County. Um, Bradford losing 2-1 away to Plymouth Argyle. Newport County losing one 0 at home to Oldham Athletic. Um, you know, Bradford going to Plymouth. Um, you know, having a bit of a disappointing day. Um, Newport County, I'd be a bit disappointed if I was a Newport County fan. Um, you know, with the lights of how I rank Newport. Only because they do so well in the FA Cup. Um, it's going to be a very interesting weekend indeed for all of the League 2 clubs. Uh, especially kick off this very busy Christmas period. Um, it's going to, I think it's going to be a very interesting game. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Cambridge versus Plymouth Argyle. Just literally mentioned Plymouth and beating Bradford 2-1 at home. Um, Cambridge 0-0 away to uh, Carlisle. Um, good point for Cambridge, I think. Um, if you're a Cambridge fan, please feel free to put your comments down below. Um, Plymouth Argyle. Great three points against Bradford, but probably expected. Um, you know, the likes of Plymouth sitting in eighth and Cambridge sitting in 13th. The points are so close between a few clubs. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Plymouth win. My next one is Colchester versus Salford City. Colchester 1-1 away to Cheltenham. Salford City 0-0 at home to Macclesfield. Um, we all know who owns the class tonight. Uh, who owns Salford City, sorry. Um, a lot of money involved with that club, but it's currently sitting in 12th position. Um, it's, I think it's going to be a, an interesting game as well. Um, you know, you've got Colchester sitting in 10th. So, you know, it's a mid-table clash sort of thing. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one now, Colchester, uh, yeah, Colchester win. So I just wanted to make sure I got the name right. Uh, my next one is Exeter versus Northampton Town. Northampton Town doing very well, in, sitting in fifth. Um, and beating Grimsby 2 0 at home, the previous day, two results. Um, Exeter beating Crawley 1-0 at home. Um, away, sorry, Exeter were away from home, Crawley were at home. Um, I think this game, you know, Exeter sitting in fourth. Um, 
you know, and Northampton Town sitting in fifth. Um, I think this one's going to be a draw, and I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Forest Green Rovers versus Scunthorpe. Um, Scunthorpe currently sitting in 16th. And um, Forest Green currently in second, and really looking really strong for their uh, promotion. Um, Scunthorpe beating uh, Paul Vell 2-1 at home. Um, Forest Green beating Lake Norian 4-2 away from home. A very interesting game um, indeed, but I'm going to go for a 2-0 Forest Green win. My next one is Grimsby Town versus Swindon Town. Uh, Swindon Town beating Mansfield 1-0 at home. Um, and uh, Grimsby Town losing 2-0 away from home to Northampton Town. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-0 Swindon Town win. My next one is Macclesfield versus Crew Alexander. Macclesfield 0-0 away to Salford City. Crew Alexander beating Morecambe 5-0 at home. I'm sorry, Mac uh, Morecambe fans, that's not a misprint. Um, obviously, we all know the problems that Macclesfield's going through. Um, I did say that on my last CT predictions. Um, I think this is going to be an interesting game. And I think... Sorry, I know I just made you yawn. Um, I think this could possibly be a bit of an upset and I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Mansfield versus Cheltenham. Cheltenham 1-1 one, one at home against Colchester. Um, Mansfield 1-0 losers away from home to Swindon Town. Um, I'm going to go for a Cheltenham win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Cheltenham win. My next one is Morecambe versus Carlisle. Um, Carlisle 0-0 at home to Cambridge. Um, I don't know quite how to sum that up. Um, Morecambe losing 5-0 away from home to Crew Alexander. Um, how do I summon this up? I mean you've got Carlisle 21st and you've got Morecambe 24, um, 24th position, bottom of the league. Um, I think Morecambe are going through the relegation um, fight at the minute obviously. Um, but I'm going to go for a 1-0 Carlisle win. My next one is Oldham versus Lake Norian. Lake Norian losing 4-2 at home to Forest Green. Oldham 1-0 away winners to Newport. Great three points for Oldham. Um, Lake Norian, I mean, you've got Oldham in 20th. And Lake Norian in 18th. I think this is going to be a draw. And I'll go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Port Vale versus Walsall. Walsall 0-0 at home to Stevenage. Port Vale losing 2-1 away from home to Scunthorpe. I think this is going to be another interesting game. Um, but I'm going to go for a Port Vale win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Port Vale win. My last one for this weekend is Stevenage versus Crawley. Stevenage 0-0 um, away to Walsall. Good point of Stevenage point of view, being away from home. Crawley losing 1-0 at home to Exeter. Um... You know, the likes of Stevenage 
Um, sitting in 23rd, Crawley sitting in 17th. Both teams obviously not getting far this season. Um, probably both survive, um, but I'll go for a boring nil-nil for that one. But uh, anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat part of your giant. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.